shining a bright red as always is I Red Luster and welcome to Goosebumps. A point and click horror game, I believe. And uh it's pretty old now. It's 2015, it's five years old. And uh The mouse has a strange delay to it. You, you probably can't see it, but the mouse, it kind of lags behind the actual movement that I'm doing. Either way, let's get right into it. Make a new save. Ed. Oh. Oh. Oh, I love this. There's nothing I love more than the old-fashioned typewriter sound. Sorry, I had to indulge for a moment. And really, I can't put red luster? Okay, I just put red. Uh, we'll be a boy. Oh my. This guy creeps me out. We better get a big tip. Uh, if you're that concerned, maybe try not to drop his stuff. Hey, for all we know, the lock got busted before I dropped it. Heard that before. Whatever, let's just finish packing up this junk. I'll head. I didn't get to read that. Who hires a moving company to move out in the middle of the night anyway? Just be glad someone did. We needed the job. Hmm, so what about that girl? Should I call her or not? The, the toll booth operator? You ain't got a chance. Eh, it's probably for the best anyway. With our. Slow down! Say, you ever creeped up? driving late at night like this? What do you mean? Oh, you know, it's late. Everyone's asleep. There's gotta be things that slink out from the shadows. This better not be about the haunted car again. It's real! Real, maybe, but not haunted. Well, it seemed haunted at the time. You can't scare me with that story. I've already heard it a million times. Well, good. It's not even my Harry's adventure. Evil genie? Heard that one. Okay, well, zombies? Guess I told you a lot of these. We don't gotta talk the whole time, you know. Could li What was that? Also, their faces. <laughs> so, you gonna open it? Oh, I ain't open it. You're one of all the scary adventures. But there's so much weird stuff in there. You saw it. Just open the door already. I can't see anything. Neither t <laughs> Not funny. Oh, there's there's someone there. What is it? Some kid? It's just a puppet. Oh ha 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 ha. What? It's just a ventriloquist dummy. Okay, Mr. Specific Oh What do you call it a dummy dummy? The next day, they are both found dead. Finally, school's out for a day. You're ready for a pleasant walk home. The clouds look pretty bad. The clowns. <laughs> the clowns look really bad out in the sky. Look, the clowns, they're raining from the sky. You know what? I'm, I'm, I'm very tempted to edit a bunch of clowns just floating in the air. Well, you'll get to see if I do that or not. Anyway, these clouds look pretty bad though. Was it supposed to rain today? You gotta check the weather but your cell phone appears to be missing. You must have left it somewhere, but where? You examine the environment. Choose a look on the drop. Okay. Uh... I can't... I shouldn't leave just yet. I should go should go try to find the, uh... Oh. Oh, okay. Gray clouds shroud the area of the rain. Wasn't it clear this morning? I didn't think there would be this much reading in the game, but, uh... 
Good thing I only recorded one other video today. Let's head back inside. Will you ever escape the- probably not. Let's go! With a heavy sigh, you trudge back inside. I gotta find my phone. Long, empty, you stop near your locker. Trusty 402. What happened to 397? It looks like the Hulk just went nuts on it. You know, a locker key. Okay. Is my phone in here? Yes, it is. Why would you ever leave your phone in your locker? I have no idea. I would never leave my phone there. Oh, wow. Your brother was right. The only thing more permanent than teas are stickers. Stick carefully. I mean, you can stick like cool stuff like that mask, but when it comes to something weird like that, I, I can understand being regretful of it. Nope. I don't want to look at the stickers. Books? Let's take them. Okay, I'll just take my phone. Grab your cell phone and cradle it protectively against your chest. You were afraid you'd lost it. After a moment, you call down and check the phone. Yep, still fully charged somehow. Looks like you have a voicemail. Hi, Red. It's Mom. Just wanted to let you know I'll be home later on tonight. The clients want to take us to dinner. <laughs> Chad! Chad should be home pretty soon, so you two will need to fend for yourselves. Remember, the key's under the back steps. Love you. Chad. Chad. I, I, that, that's just such a, such a great name, you know? Oh, cool. I got achievement. Calling all creeps. I remember that book. I remember quite a few Goosebumps books. They, uh, they were definitely my go-to read when I was younger. Yeah, game, you don't have to keep me giving me tutorials when I get frozen. This happened today, Roger forgot his locker combination. Fortunately, yours is easy to remember. Insert key and turn. I guess it depends what kind of lock you use. Uh, let's look in the classroom. Mrs. Tooley. Yeah, I remember a teacher back in, uh, early high school. She was a reading teacher, not a math teacher. But, man, would I have preferred if she were a math teacher. She was... Oh, she was just awful. Just an awful human being in general. I remember one test. There was a test we were doing. But we had, like, no time to do it. Because she gave it to, like, at the end of the class. So, I completed the test. I turned it in. She gave me a fat zero for it. Why? Because I didn't do the last question. Yep. She made the whole test invalid. Straight up zero, because I didn't answer one of the questions. Is that even, like, legal? I don't know, but I remember feeling so, like, destroyed after that. Uh... Yeah, it's just, it was so awful, because, uh, just absolutely ruined my day. Or, really, she just kind of ruined my, uh, year in general. Just because she was such a, such a jerk. And the worst part was, she was an unashamed jerk. She loved to be a jerk to people just for the sake of it. She liked being the rude teacher, because apparently it makes her cool, I don't know. It just made people hate her even more. 
Anyway, I should stop ranting about that. That's the past now. The school parking lot is nearly empty. As most of the school's gone home, you can faintly hear a football team practicing in the distance, though. What, is there only two people on the football team? Also, is that a quarter? What's with the garbage? Yeah, open. No? I'm trying to get so close you can smell it. Spoiled milk. Uh, push? Okay, guess I won't bother at a dumpster. Uh, anything with the cars? What a beautiful car. You wouldn't mind one just like it, but you're too young to drive. Okay, I guess I go up the hill. You hack up the well-worn path into the woods. Uh, the familiar sights and sounds of the woods. The path leads over a bridge and turns into some trees. Oh no, it looks like someone lost their dog. Poor kid. Answers to GG? Gigi? Should I take it? Alright. Yeah, I guess if I find a Gigi or Gigi. Am I wrong in pronouncing that Gigi? Because that is a G. I don't know. It's like GIF or GIF. Okay, this doesn't look good. Reach a small clearing, trees, there's a weird guy creeping around, never seen him before. Uh, the path goes up ahead, you're nervous about that guy, whoever he is. Let's just talk to him, or look at him. He was about 30, but there's something off about him, his clothes are torn, he won't make eye contact. What are you talking about? He's staring me dead on. His hair is green and kind of leafy. You see bugs falling beneath his clothes. I'm going to try and talk to him. I know it's a stupid thing to do, but whatever. Okay, he's not even interested in me. This leads to a big spooky tree. You're nervous about that guy, whoever he is. You take a few steps around, but you oh, oh! I died. Okay. Okay, you can die in this game. I mean, I kind of saw that coming, but okay. Yep, creepy guy. Can I... Like Chad always says, a tree is a tree. Is a tree. Except a really cool tree down the path from here. Right path. I don't think I can get near him, so I'm just gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna go back to the bridge. And, uh... I'm just gonna leave the forest. Can I go this way? Street. Alright, what route? Oh, dusty path? I guess I'll go this way. By the time you reach the shed, the wind's picked up. Your cheeks sting from the cold. We'd be gone. Okay, cool. We got some weed killer. I guess we'll go spray that guy in the face. Yeah, what is the point of a tool shed if you're just gonna leave things on the, the ground? That's, uh... That's kind of silly. Alright. So, what if we go spray this guy with the weed killer? 
Okay, we have to, we can save. So before we go uh, spray that guy, let's save. Yep. Awesome. Now let's go spray this guy, this weed man, with some weed killer. And pump the trigger three times, spraying the strange figure. Stay out of the forest! He doesn't seem so threatening anymore, he's covering his face with long, ropey fingers and trembling. Alright, now we can get up around him. Uneven dirt. Dig! Okay. And you know what? That actually makes sense. At least. Uh, roots? Anything in the tree. Spooky tree. Incredibly old. If you wrapped your arms around it, your fingers wouldn't touch. Not even close. Canopy? Okay, I guess there isn't really anything here I can do. I can't dig up the ground, so I'm just gonna leave. Yep, he's still cowering. Let's just leave him be. Some kind of commo Let's save before the commotion kills us somehow. Uh, yo, what's up? Mind your own business, Red. All right. Let's look down the tunnel. It's large drain pipes, things like old socks. Bunch of kid. Seem excited about something. Let me see. All right, I'll leave him be. You step in your neighborhood, your spirits fall immediately when you notice the accident down the street. The road is completely blocked, and you need to find a different way around. What do you mean? The sidewalk's right there. Van. Moving van got into an accident, the back is open, and the box is spilling out on the street. Okay, I guess I'll... Can I take the hose? Okay. Can I not go unscrew it? Okay, let's go to the van. Oh boy, all sorts of stuff. Odds and ends, the crash didn't seem to damage anything. A sense of dread creeps up the back of your neck. Uh, what from? The creepy scarecrow, the sarcophagus, the hat, the eyeball, the green glowing jar, the head. There's a lot of stuff in here. Oh, the vampire portrait, I didn't even see that. Let's look at the canister. You have to keep your distance. To... Yeah, I didn't think so. Shrunken head. Weird olive skin, wispy hair, and high cheekbones. Its eyes and mouth are sewn shut. Can I take it? Ah, I'm just stealing people's possessions. But I got a free shrunken head. Top hat. What a snazzy top hat. You can see a magician wearing this during his act. Alright, I'll just take the take whatever I want from this, I guess. Scarecrow? It's really imposing scarecrow. Pumpkin head, straw hair. Yep. Globe. Spin the globe! 
Nice. Uh, bucks? I really am just stealing from this crash truck. Portrait. Looks like a fancy portrait, so it's too much to see in detail. It, it's, it's literally a vampire. I don't know what to tell you, buddy. It's literally a vampire. Uh, open the coffin. We'll budge. Okay. Guess I'll leave. It, it, that's a good point. Uh, well, I can't get around it, so I guess I'll have to go back. Hello, little bunny. I'm gonna save before you inevitably try to kill me. Look at the rabbit. It's a small white rabbit. His fur is all kempt. He seems wary of you. Hey there, little fella. Hmm. I thought those brutes would never leave. Amazo the rabbit. Awesome. And he's gone. Let's go in the pipe tunnel. Ooh. I'm gonna save real quick. What's in the hole? Can I use my... Well, I was thinking you could like, use a flashlight. I'm pretty sure it's water, but it shimmers with a blackness that normal water doesn't have. What? Well, I, I, okay. Uh, how long have I been recording? Oh, plenty long enough. I'm going to end it here. This is actually uh, pretty interesting so far. Uh, anyway, this has been Red Luster, signing out.